Let's start with this slide again. Uh, we have left something here. Uh, let inoculation in like in mold inoculation or metal stream inoculation while pouring into mold will help not only to increase your nodule count but also uniform nodality in section variation. It is very important that lead inoculation or good inoculation we can say will help you to improve nodule count as well as nodality. So that is why we all, all we already talked earlier that inoculation is very important in ductile ion. The more effective inoculation means more good quality of ductile iron material. Then nodality depends on nodality is depend on number one input raw material that is the CRCA raw and runnerizers uske upar depend karte hai uska sulfur kitna control mein hai usme kuch trace element nahi hai uske upar aapki quality depend karegi manganese kitna kam hai agar aap ferritic grid bana rahe ho to that helps you then weighment of liquid metal and alloy that is very important alloy ka weighment bhi bahut important hai kai baar hum alloy ka weighment nahi karte hai ya fir miss kar jate hai to alloy weighment is also important weighment of liquid metal and alloy is important then tapping temperature Tapping temperature is very important, optimization of temperature is very important, duration of treatment, pouring time, pouring time is very important that you have stipulated time of pouring, do or not, if you go ahead, you will find out the issues in the nodality. Then sulfur is the best metal, it is very important. How much sulfur will be controlled, it will depend on your quality. So these are, this is the uh, chart I was talking about. परसेंटेज नोडलिटी उसमें दिखाई देगी आपको देन परलाइट रेटिंग भी दिखाई देगा देन कार्बाइड रेटिंग भी है नोडल काउंट भी है सो वन चार्ट यू कैन यू कैन यूज फॉर वेरियस थिंग्स हियर इन डक्टाइल आयन नाउ वी गो टू प्रोसेस कंट्रोल प्रोसेस कंट्रोल दिस ऑल द पैरामीटर्स वी ऑलरेडी सीन आई दिस इज जस्ट अ रिविजन वी कैन से नंबर वन इज मेटल वेविंग मेटल वेइंग के लिए आपके पास लोड सेल रहेगा तो बेहतर है बिकॉज अदरवाइज यू हैव टू कंफर्म दैट योर स्क्रैप इज 100 परसेंट वेड और जो भी आपका मेटल है फर्मेस में आपको पता है कि मेरा मेटल इतना ही है और मैं टैप कर रहा हूँ लेकिन अगर लोड सेल रहेगा तो इट हेल्प्स यू इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग मेटल वेट प्रॉपरली तो मेरे ख्याल में कहीं ना कहीं अगर आप डक्टा बनाते हो तो लोड सेल होना इंपॉर्टेंट है उसी तरह पोरिंग का टाइमर या बजर होना भी इंपॉर्टेंट है Then twin-dish cover. Twin-dish cover is another factor because without twin-dish cover, your magnesium recovery will not be that not not be that much, and uh, then you have to add more magnesium. So, in my opinion, some of them 0.2 percent का सीधा फर्क रहेगा। अगर आप twin-dish cover इस्तेमाल नहीं करते, तो you have to add 1.2 percent more magnesium alloy in the treatment. So that is very important. Tapping temperature, you have to optimize as I told you, telling you because it will help you in reducing your uh, Energy cost as well as your magnesium addition. So it will help you in reducing overall cost. So optimization of tapping temperature is very important and key factor. Then tapping time. Tapping time is very important. Deslagging of metal is very important. Deslagging helps you in reducing the temperature loss as well as the slag going along with the metal inside the casting so your casting soundness will get affected because of slag because of dross that has been continuously generated in ductile iron ductile iron mein aap jaise ki jante hai ki slag ka generation continuous hota rehta hai because magnesium is there and when magnesium is there he will it will try to make magnesium oxides and magnesium sulfides aur usi ko hum slag bolte hai जब तक मैग्नीशियम है तब तक वो ऑक्सीजन के साथ में या सल्फर के साथ में रिएक्शन करता रहेगा एंड दे इट विल स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड्स मैग्नीशियम सल्फाइड एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर नथिंग बट स्लैग एंड ड्रॉस सो जब तक मैग्नीशियम है तब तक ड्रॉस जनरेट होता रहेगा सो ओनली थिंग वी कैन डू इज आइदर डिस इट और पुट स्लैग पाउडर ऑन द सरफेस सो दैट इट विल गेट अरेस्टेड और मेटल के साथ में आगे नहीं जाएगा एक जगह पर अरेस्ट होकर रहेगा Third more important thing we can do is put proper filtration in your molding, in your measuring, so that that whatever dross will still go inside the uh, inside the mold along with metal that will get arrested. So these two things we can we can able to reduce our slag uh, deslagging method. Then repour first metal back. 
uh, I think this is very important factor when you are taking treatment ladder directly for the pouring. If you are taking your treatment ladder for the pouring directly, then what will happen? During the treatment, whatever the first metal arises inside the treatment ladder, it is not treated. It is not properly inoculated. That will go in, inside your, uh, you can say, your pouring spout. Or a pouring spout may jo metal jayega that is uninoculated hai or untreated hai. Or jab bhi aap dekhte pouring spout ka diameter bhi bhot kam rehta hai. So it is a sluggish metal. Un, uh, inoculated and untreated. So that metal, if you pour in the first box, you will not get a good quality of inductile iron. So it is better to take that metal back and put either in the furnace or the same treatment ladder so that it will get mixed up with the other material. So that is very important when you are using direct treatment ladder for the pouring, re-pour first metal back inside the furnace or in the ladder. Pouring time, it should be around 6 to 7 minutes depending on your uh, um, treatment size and your pouring practices. Another point in process control is ladle cover to reduce magnesium loss and to reduce temperature loss. Both magnesium loss ke saath saath temperature loss bhi wo control karega. Take micro sample at last box. Take spectro sample at last box. These both are very important. Do not forget to take spectro sample as well as micro sample because you have to confirm you have to release the heat based on this, these two reports if the micro and the last box is around 85 percent you can release it if it is less than 85 percent you have to keep that heat aside verify the casting micro the soundness and the fracture and then only you can release the heat for the further processing Spectro sample, as I told you, is very important to understand the final carbon, final silicon, final copper, final manganese, and most importantly, your residual magnesium. The residual magnesium will guide you for the next hit. If your residual magnesium is less, so you have to understand that the residual magnesium last hit is less. Now, I have to see what is my base sulfur, what is my tapping, what was my tapping temperature, how is the lateral condition, whether I have exceeded the pouring time, what went wrong, why my residual magnesium come down. So you, have, you can take the decision based on that result. So that is why the spectro sample at last box is very important. And you have to verify both the things before you go for next hit tapping. So that you will get the some uh, idea, some trend, some input from the last sheet. So it's very important. Identify last box. If there's an issue, you have to separate the heat. So you have to identify what, what was, what was, where was my last box, which was, which was my last box poured, and from that how I have gone for the pouring. So last box, second last box, then before that box, you have to, you can able to mark the boxes accordingly, and you can able to separate them if there is an issue. So it is very important in ductile iron to identify last box and subsequent boxes so that you can trace out the things in ductile iron as again repeating the discipline is very 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 important unless you have a discipline, unless you have good process control, unless you follow all these things you will not able to give good quality of ductile iron. It is very important to follow it. If you follow it ductile and is very simple it is not a difficult but you have to follow discipline check micro sample before knockout this again as I told you, tell you I was telling you because you have to decide whether I can mix up the casting with okay casting whether it is okay or not you have you can have to decide before knockout or even before you are you can go for your next hit clearance of heat for knockout based on your micro and micro sample and residual magnesium as I already told you Test bar pouring and testing periodically. You have your control plan, you have your inspection plan for testing plan for uh, physical properties that is test bar, microstructure of the casting and accordingly you have to pour them and test it and get results. These are some of the pictures. You, have, you can see the first picture showing 100% women, second picture showing you have to use uh, runner riser properly sorting sorted out with the grade marking you can see third one is the magnesium cover put up 
so that you can avoid the oxidation then uh, you can see twin dish cover use in the ductile and treatment you can see pre-wet or magnesium oil and covering ready so that you will not miss out the things then uh, red hot lateral condition the clean pocket you can see there also then you can see the pocket condition is good the ladle is red hot twin dish cover is properly uh, with a good hole then you have control on pouring time that is timer is there you can weigh the metal you can see the metal weighment in the picture then do you are doing uh, you are seeing the inoculation is doing uh, in the stream of the metal then you can see also the samples that is the spectro sample and micro sample being poured on the large box so this is from my side and i hope it is it was a very